guys, it's Elizabeth Morosco coming on here to give you uh, tip four for the hashtag Bean30 challenge. And this is one statement that can be the death of your business and you want to avoid it. There's a couple of cases you can use it, but avoid it is we've always done it that way. With today's world, things are changing so rapidly. Sometimes something that was previously a successful way of doing it is no longer a successful way of doing it or there are new things that come about that maybe tools or technologies that can help you along with that um, but even going back to um, it was a prominent company I had done an event for this was years ago and their attendance numbers had plummeted from you know hundreds of people to they were struggling to get they weren't even getting a hundred so after I had produced a um, event for uh, Chevy's 100th anniversary and then this organization uh, was introduced to me from um, their management and they suggested they reach out to me to come up with some some ideas well when we first started doing the consult 90s you know it was great but you know, for this new generation, it just wasn't the way to be producing an event and getting people to come in. Uh, so with that being said, we designed a event marketing plan and when we were going through it, you know, the CEO was saying, we've never done it this way, we've always done it this way. And my reply was, how's that working out for you? Because there becomes a time when you've got to realize that there's new ways of doing things that can make it more exciting uh, for your clients or people that you're trying to connect with and you know it's time to dig in and not let fear of trying something new hold you back now there'll be some things that are, you know it's a good old staple and what do they say if it's not broke don't fix it but when you start seeing things that it is broke or you're discovering um, whether it's your attendance is dropping or you're discovering, discovering other tools that um, people are using that's helping them. It could be media or, you know, like social media tools. Like recently, we've really been blessed as business owners with some of the technology that's out there for even phones, of being able to go digital. Um, when I had owned my first studio in Grand Blank, when I brought in a phone system, it cost, it was like $8,000 to buy the phone system. But then, uh, even on top of having to buy like the multiple lines, having to buy the equipment, having to do training, it was really costly having a phone system. Not anymore. I mean, you can, between cell phones or different carriers, I think, what is there? Um, Ring Central and Alligator and Leapfrog might be another one. There's a ton of them. So if you're doing stuff old school, you know, maybe look at changing it. But if you want your business to stay alive, I'm telling you, the one sentence you need to ditch now is, we've always done it that way. Sometimes it's not working. Right, you guys, my internet seems to be short, but I hope that um, some of these tips help you along the way for creating new business and growing and getting your voice out there. and. You know just making it dynamic make sure that you like comment and share it helps with the algorithm so people can find our videos and if you could even um you know, newer time to be and you can keep